think you can still grow as a quarterback? Uh, I think in a lot of areas. Um, you know what's nice though is just having that continuity uh, with the second year OC. I've actually never had that. Um, so it's been nice so far just getting my uh, getting used to the offense and just having a, a year of experience uh, just in that uh, playbook and, and run it again this year. And it's, it's been uh, fun so far this spring. What do you know about the offense today that you wouldn't have known this time last year that you think puts you further ahead? Yeah, I just think, uh, I think I had a lot on my plate last year. Um, and just being in it again and, and seeing everything so far again and just, you know, coming into my fourth year, I think, feel like I'm seeing the field really well right now, so. With, uh, with the injury last year, I know you weren't making excuses and stuff, but how much was that uh, factor for you? Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like sitting down on the toilet was pretty tough. Uh, <laughs> I mean, doing that, um, like, yeah, walking down some stairs. I mean, it was it was tough, it was difficult. Um, but, you know, we, we had a good plan. Uh, the doctors did, uh, the athletic trainers here. So um, I just wanted to do whatever I could to, to be on that field and play. and. Uh, just dealing with the past, getting COVID and injuries before, I just knew I didn't want to miss any games. So maybe I'm off, but I had heard a rumor that you were maybe the plan was to have a surgery at some point last season, and that you kind of talked them out of it or pushed her out of it. Is um, that true? Or? I like I said, I was missing a game. So how are you doing right now, basically? I mean, I'm doing all right. Like no brace. I mean, I'm jumping around, running, so full speed. So I'm feeling good. Um, yeah, feeling great. It was meniscus we, or something, or what was it? It was my meniscus. Yeah, so, so I uh, tore my meniscus and um, just had to get it cleaned up. So, let's talk about Green, the, where is he growing the most in a, in a year, and where can he continue to grow? Uh, I just think operating as a quarterback. You know, I think that that athleticism is obviously there. He's a freak. He's an incredible kid. Um, but just being able, you know, like even today, I had to just tell him, you know, have some base when you're up there. You know, you're the you're the commander when you're out there. Um, you know, those guys are there to listen to you. So you gotta be able to to demand uh, from yourself excellence and from those guys. So you gotta, just gotta be confident out there, going through your progressions, calling the protection. Uh, maybe maybe you need to make a check. Just all those little things like that. Um, that I think he still needs to continue to get better at. But he's he's special. Let's talk about the offensive coordinator again. Yeah. The fact that you have Tim for the second mm -hmm. year, you've never had that. How important is that? How how much does that help your mind, your game? Yeah. Uh, well, well, like I said, I mean, it's it's really nice. Uh, I really love Coach Blau and, and just his personality and our ability to be able to communicate back and forth and just kind of uh, he values my input and uh, the quarterback's input. So it's just nice to be able to uh, communicate with him, be on the same page with him, and then just like I said, being – Having his playbook for a second year is really nice. So, do you, do you feel like because of that, maybe other things, you're just natural development. Uh, right now, you're more ahead of your game and more comfortable about your game than ever before. I would say right now, mentally, I feel like I'm the best that I've ever been. Just like I said, having that experience, having having Coach Avalos is is super nice. Having Coach D, learning what they're trying to accomplish on the defensive side of the ball. Because now I feel like I have got a better understanding of that offense. I can kind of take another step, um, uh, another level. Where do you want your next steps to be this year? You've improved every year you've been here, but is there a couple of things that you would expect that you would be able to do better than you've done in the past? Yeah, I just think uh, overall, just getting better, making better decisions, uh, and, and that consistency to make the uh, the best decision for each play. You know, you can't do it one game and and, and do it uh, and miss it another game, and you can't do it for three quarters and, and, and struggle in, uh, in a different quarter, you know? It's it's every single play, and that's what separates, you know, good from great quarterbacks. And um, I just want to be able to make the right decision every single play. Greg, what are your philosophies on leadership, and how do you apply them to what you're going to do day in, day out here? Yeah, um, you know, it's something that I think I've had to work on since I've been here. Uh, I've always just felt like, uh, you know, I hate not being authentic, you know, I'm myself uh, every single day. and. Um, the way that I try to do is I'm going to go out there and I'm, you know, I'm going to be a tough guy and, and show them that, um, you know, I'm out here. I'm going to, you know, play my heart out for you guys, and um, I want you guys to, to do the same. And um, as long as I'm dialed and I kind of got everything under control um, in my operation, then I feel like I can be able to, you know, tell another guy, hey, you got to line up here or you got to get this block, you got to pick this up. Um, I think that's when you can be able to say something. It's kind of when you got your own house sorted out. Four year starters, not very often the guy gets to start for four years at quarterback. Mm -hmm. Around here, it's obviously a pretty a storied thing. Not the list is pretty short. What, what, how do you look at that opportunity and just where you put yourself in terms of the, 
the quarterback, uh, you know, grades at, at Boise State and, and what this year could maybe do to, to help your, your legacy, so to speak? Yeah, no, I mean, obviously, you know, Kellen is, is Kellen. Um, you know, that guy caused me a little bit of stress every once in a while. Uh, but, <laughs> I mean, he's, he's obviously an incredible person to try and chase. Brett, some of these other guys. Um, uh, it's an honor to be able to play quarterback here. Uh, but just, just for myself, you know, I, I just uh, want to come in every single day and be, and be my best. And um, I'm excited for this season. How have you dealt with like the just what it takes to be the quarterback at Boise State? Like the pressure and the outside noise. Yeah. It's just it's a unique thing. There's no pro team here. I mean, you're one of the, the, yeah. the whole state probably one of the most you know recognizable guys. I mean, what, what's how have you learned over the last couple of years to handle all that and what comes with that? Um, it's a humbling experience. Like I said, it's a it's a big honor. Um, uh, you just you have to believe in yourself all the time. Uh, you know, people are gonna be very nice to you when you guys are winning. Um, might be the other way, but uh, I'm very appreciative of the fans and everybody. And obviously they care very much about Boise State football, as do I. I love this freaking school and um, I just wanna be my best for it, so. You well, mentioned Jalen for a second. Uh, you mentioned his freakish athleticism, especially in this offense. How dangerous can that athleticism be? Yeah, it's. Uh, I just think it adds another element. You know, he's a uh, he's special. I mean, you can't teach six, you know, whatever he is, to six, four, four, whatever he runs. You know, jumps out of the gym, probably just flicks it. You know, hundred yards or whatever. So, he's a special guy, um, and he's just going to continue to develop. So. From your perspective, you draw back to pass, not having two out there anymore with you. Yeah. How unique, how different is that? It is very different, um, but it, I'm excited. I think uh, it's going to help me be better. I think it's going to help this team be better just because we need other guys to step up. Um, and just getting on the same page with them and building that chemistry on you know different type of routes and, and where I kn knew he would be or what he was going to do, I got to build that chemistry with the other guys still. And uh, I'm really excited to see some of these guys step up. You guys obviously like to live in the moment, but do you ever think of the big picture? I mean, do you, are you going into this year thinking, this is my last year? Or are you going into this year thinking, I'm going to play here for six years and build this crazy yeah. legacy? Do you ever think about the big picture stuff? Uh, I mean, a little bit. I think just, just uh, like I said, football is a very humbling uh, experience. And I think when you look a little bit too far, you get humbled very, very quickly. And uh, I'm just taking it one day at a time. And uh, just like I said, coming in and trying to do my best to compete. Ashton Magenti, what have you seen from him in a couple of practices? Yeah, you know, he's, <laughs> I remember my first spring when I early enrolled, uh, he's learning. Uh, the athleticism is there, the twitchiness, the explosiveness. Um, he's pretty rocked up actually, you know, for, for being a shorter guy. Um, but he's learning the playbook right now. So uh, it's nice just you know, sometimes I gotta, you know, tell him what to do, but uh, he's learning. Uh, it's really nice having Coach KB. Uh, he, he's very uh, experienced running back coach, so uh, I think he'll kind of handle that room, and, and he's doing a great job. How's Sam Binlack? I know he's brand new, but strictly as a quarterback, what stands out about him so far? Yeah, he's uh, he's a great kid. Um, I think he fits the room really well. All those guys are great guys, and uh, he's got a rocket too. So uh, I'm very curious to see what will happen. Yeah. Where is he at in terms of the playbook right now, and how tough is it to absorb this playbook? Yeah, I mean, um, I think their ability to operate on um, on a you know run, running the offense, getting through your progressions, your protections, uh, they're 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 doing a good job. All those guys are, um, and you know just going through our installs, uh, you know, inputting uh, just not the entire thing at once. You're kind of just doing a select portion of plays and. Uh, they're all doing a great job of operating it. So we just, had, we just had Tyreek Jones in here, mm -hmm. and he and JL Skinner, much like yourself, have played a lot of downs in football. Yeah. So as you look at them, what makes them elite, and what makes them better than maybe the other safeties you would JL see? JL and Tyreek. Yeah. What makes them better? Well, I mean, they're both over six feet tall, very rangy, long. Um, sucks going against them. Yeah. I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, but like, you'll never play them guy like those those two guys I mean it's but, but there's something they do because they've been out there I mean I know yeah. they can have stuff but that doesn't necessarily just because you're you're physically talented doesn't necessarily mean you know well, you're good at yeah, it so what do so, they do what do they yeah, do so wait? so um their ability to be able to hold a disguise for a long yeah. period of time opposed to a guy that has to 
show, you know, whether they're getting into the post, get into one high defense, their ability to, to, to hold it longer and disguise, uh, just because they are incredibly athletic and rangy, um, they're able to um, disguise. So when I'm getting under center or, you know, in gun and I'm getting ready to snap the ball, they hold it. So when I catch the ball, they're able to get into a post or blitz or whatever their um, responsibility is. They do a great job of hiding it. Are you a basketball guy, and, and what do you make of the basketball team yeah. in the league? And, and it's got to be, be pretty cool, I, I guess. I am a basketball uh, coach, yeah. Just knowing they're going to be in March Madness and stuff, is that cool for you guys as football players? Yeah, no, uh, I'm not going to lie. The last few years, uh, I had only been to a few games, but this year I have been to eight or nine, and uh, I have obviously have a couple of buddies on that team. I very much respect uh, Coach Rice and uh, the Mark Few tree, and uh, – I just I love what he's been able to do, and uh, they got really great gritty defense, uh, and I just feel like they're a very collective unit, and I'm super excited uh, about their run. So, who do you, you know or friends with, or which players do? You? I mean, uh, Max is a guy I know, Najee's a guy I know, uh, Marcus is a guy, uh, Coach Barsh is a guy that's really been supportive of me throughout my time here. Um, so I, I really root for them, and I'm really excited. Uh, you know, I've been to a lot of games this year, so. Coach Plow was telling.